Excellent, and welcome to the TAD Summit Truth in Telecoms podcast. So again, another amazing, eventful week. Johnny, how are you? I'm doing great, man. we got so much to cover. We I mean, do. just... Well, for me, I the just, highlight... Was... I'm sad because I missed the Queenie. <laughs> that that was... I, I, I could see when you were posting, you'd really enjoy being able to do... No, I, it's not just I enjoyed it, because I know how real yes. she was. Yep. And I know that that woman flew across country, yep. right? Because she worked hard to get to where she is. Correct. For a lot of people out there, you need to understand what type of an attorney she is. So I, for a guy who's been in litigation since the day he was born, uh, mostly on the side of, of suing, yep. um, these people are serious attorneys. I mean, they may look like uh, whatever theatrics or whatever their show is, but at the end of the day, they run important organization. The TCPA yeah. world, and especially with Reach. I mean, he just figured out that Kirchman, that G Money and Cinch are part of his organization. I think. I mean, I think he knew, but he knew this is other guy, Brian Lansky. Yeah, who, he was also at, at um, them for a bit. Oh yeah, but um, I mean, and that's the key. Yeah. I do want to say, and I'm going to state it multiple times: is don't focus on the style, focus on the message. That's the key. The message, the content. That message that's is it. real. I got. I hear people that you know. Now we got all the rumblings from the show. Mm -hmm. And you're hearing, oh, well, you know, uh, some people say, look, stage, that's it, stage. All she's got to do is run out of the airport and say, hey, ladies, let me tell you what happened to me. This yeah. is America. People yeah. forget the riots that we had in this country and, exactly. and the insanity. This is, yeah. You yeah. know, it, and women. What it's said simple to me, facts. And we will go through the to me is, What's said to me is, I mean, the UCA podcast is flying. Yes. And theirs combined didn't really reach it. Um, you know, it's just still man, a male-dominated industry. Oh, yes, you know? absolutely. You know, but you know? Pooja went there and she stood up for herself. Now, you can she criticize for women everywhere. Exactly. Not just herself. Exactly. And, and people came and back then, and were criticizing. It's like, no, no, no. Just ignore the style. Look at the facts. It's as simple as well, that. They didn't hear the story because they don't listen to his channel. So people yeah. listen to us. So what happened to her was real. Yes. They kicked her off the panel. Correct. Very simply. Yep. Because Czar read my CEO's letter and the response. Yes. From Latham Watkins from TCR. Correct. Which basically said, eh, we don't really do anything. <laughs> and nah, everybody can own everything. It's okay. And the Czar said, this is bizarre. Yes. And then she got kicked off a panel with yep. the former attorney for the TCR, Glenn Richards. Yep. So they booted her. And that was insulting. This is like, you know, speak people dying to get her to speak. Exactly. For their industry, you guys understand, in America, what happens is all you people in Europe, all the messaging companies, voice companies, because it all comes from outside, are spamming people. But then a lot of small businesses and companies get caught because there's a bunch of ambulance chaser lawyers, plaintiff yes. lawyers, mm -hmm. that are out there attacking people. Yes. These okay. are the people that are defending good people. Yeah. They're not defending the people in China that are being kidnapped to do spam and to do all these things, or a lot of you guys out there that are spamming or that can't control it in the U.S. They're protecting small business America. The level of energy intensity of these people is insane. The last thing you want to do is mess with them. So yeah. I advise you, Robert Gershman, because Zar just put out a message, to call them. Yeah. Or at least figure something out because you – and again – Robert's an evangelist. Yes. What Robert is, is a shareholder. Him and his three, four partners own 24% of Cinch, right? These guys are worth a half a billion dollars. They were worth a few billion dollars a while back, Yeah, right? And they want to get back there, and I don't yeah. blame them. But they're very proud. Robert Kirschman, the guys at Cinch are proud of what they built. They, yep. they, 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 and they built a really good business. I've been even digging some more now, um, adding 1,000 enterprise customers, a month I'm hearing in certain yeah. parts of the world, yeah. uh, which I can get to why Twilio and them need to merge, and they will. Uh, mark my words. I said it here first. It'll yes, take it a while mm -hmm. because it comes down to this. If Twilio bought Cinch right now, Cinch valuation would quadruple, yes. right? Not buy the company, to make the investment, and then roll up all the little pieces that are falling apart. Exactly. But look, let's close the door. I don't know what Zara's going to do. Um and 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 Czar and ladies, look, 
when you said I was that desperate in the podcast and I was hurt, I, I'm not hurt. I'm pissed. It's a big difference. And I'm pissed at what they did to Major Bill Peters, yep. Ricardo Cabrero, mm-hmm. and the kids' grandparents that are being scammed in this country on purpose. Yeah. Bye. And today, Bye. The, today the DOJ filed a lawsuit on Apple today. AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, campaign registry. It's only a matter of time because the talk of the show was, can you believe the response from the TCR? Can you believe that this was just a front for a profit center? So our message is getting through yep. because it's got to be solved. Exactly. So Czar, yep. Queenie, uh, I'm sad, you know. I I sent her a note. I I really uh, I told and look, I, just just talk to them on their podcast. But she's angry. Oh, but look, she could have had a whole. If she wanted to, she could have like you got the Swifties. She'd have Queenies running around. <laughs> if she really wanted to light it up, guys, meth. In my country, she could light it up tomorrow. Yep. They'd have pitch force coming over there for you guys. But the difference between meth, Tad Summit. Cloud communication, CPAS acceleration alliances. This is the big difference. We have CEOs that come here. We have innovators that come here. We don't have fees. We don't have membership. We're two guys. We had Alan Quayle. We have a community. We have hackers around the world. We tell the truth. Now we had, oh, Bird flew back in. Bird flew back in. He saw Uka. He came out of nowhere, Bird. I'm like, what, what? came from nowhere. So see my post today, Bird was all over it. Just let's review that story on the uh, meth piece, and then we can put that to one side and we can move on. But very simply, I, I, and I know there's been some, you know, there's been a few you know, negative posts about the style. doesn't matter. Let's focus on the facts, okay? So, you know, there was a protest uh, at the fact that Pooja, who is a partner at Troutman Amin LLP, was kicked off the meth panel. Now, Ignore the style, ignore any claims around what type of protest it was. There was a protest, full stop, okay? Let's focus on the facts. Eric presented an analysis of an FCC filing about the TCR. It's good, I'll put include links so you can see what his uh, commentary was. And after that went live, after he talked about it, well, shortly afterwards, Pooja, who is a partner at the uh, firm Troutman Amin, was kicked off the MEF panel on International Women's Day. Now, A, massive tone-deaf behavior. B, the two are partners, and one partner talked about the, the TCR. Obviously, that wasn't acceptable for the MEF, and Pooja was uh, kicked off. Now, of course, Pooja was rightly furious, and she stood up for herself and protested outside the MEF. I don't care what you think about the protest. She flew across country. Exactly. <laughs> she protested. She stood up for herself and said, guys, this These, these is people represent not companies right. like Disney, Loan Depot, big mortgage exactly. companies. See, yes. See, exactly. What do you think? They, they don't have better things to do? Like me so, and Al? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, but you know, Pooja was kicked off the f- panel. That's a fact. After Eric reviewed the FCC filing, Dario, the CEO of MEF, claimed the to the protesters, and again, it's on their videos that uh, <clears throat> they published, Pooja was too busy to attend the event. They oh, both... he lied like, he lied like uh, That's it. That's <laughs> bottom line. MEF continues to cover up what's going on with the TCR, as one of its board members, sponsors, is Caliera. But mm-hmm. overnight, you know, after the protest, Eric was now cool with the MEF. And what was surprising is he thought the three female board members were introduced because of their actions. Now, those board members were announced in February and that Pooja could become could enter become part of the board. Now, don't tell they, him <laughs> if he finds out that he got duped. Well, I mean, and, and other people were commenting on Eric's post about that. They were like, no, those three board mem- female board members were introduced in February. And the, there's a clear process for adding board members. You and know, Dario Betty actually that. liked that. I don't know if he was lying or not. I liked it. I didn't like it. I'm not sure if I liked it. Maybe I liked it. I don't know. Maybe you liked it. Did you like it? I don't know if you liked it. Uh, but, and, you know, there needs to be another round of voting before any you know anybody else can be added to the MEF board. So anyway, 
You know, that was unclear given the procedures that are, have been stated uh, around the MEF. Now, so, you know, that, that gets a bit murky. Now, the great thing is, uh, you know, they, they've got all their posts on their blog. It's all still there. And, you know, I don't know what Pooja thinks about this. Uh, you know, I, I know she was furious about being kicked off the panel and did something that I certainly you know, wouldn't do and make such a public protest. But that shows you can't treat women like that. And I think that really is an important message that we need to bring to the whole industry. Full stop. Uh, Full stop. I exactly. mean, her, her speech and that first, the first few minutes that I reposted, people aren't even watching it. And it's yeah. disgraceful Yeah, because it was a powerful statement. And exactly. if she really wanted to, I told her. You'd have the queenies. You'd have like a whole brand around you because she's an inspiration for young girls everywhere. Exactly. And there are a lot of people in our industry. Yeah. And, you know, it's but, just sad. Well, I mean, regardless, it, these and, are the facts. And, you know, whether Eric continues to investigate the TCR, you know, I, I've asked on one of his posts. It's not the TCR. It's free speech. Well, he, yeah. he, went a whole, he went a whole different direction. You know, I understand. You, you yeah, 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 yeah. But he yeah. he invited TCR to come. And he's right. Onto his, uh, he's his absolutely podcast. right. I, I and, personally believe there is no free speech in this country. So <laughs> if you want to fight for it, go ahead. Good luck. Exactly. So he is the TCR cover up continues by the MEF. As I've said multiple times, they're a laundromat service for the some people in the industry. You want us to wash your dirty laundry? No problems. Come in. We'll make things look better. And we've seen this. This week, a public de demonstration of how you do a, well, a poorly executed cover-up. Again, Pooja was invited. She was kicked off because Eric presented some analysis around an FCC filing on the TCR. And, you know, shockingly for me, Dario went in front of the protesters and claimed that Pooja was too busy. I mean, it, it's just so Awful. Well, it's funny. I asked, I asked the czar when he's going to talk to Valeria. I said, can you ask her boss, her old boss, Dario, who framed Bill Peters? Because see, now I'm going to start. Exactly. Yes. I. That is a critical well, question. Sorry, if you're out there, guys who can't pay registry. I don't think you guys framed Bill Peters with the laptop yourself because yeah. you're too stupid. <laughs> and you did it wrong and you framed yourself. Yes. I think they put you in front. I put you up to it. Yeah. Just tell us. Was it Abby Katz, the whole board? Because the whole board is complicit. The whole board, you're all complicit. Because at the end of the day, you tried to get Major Bill Peters to sign a document basically saying, I didn't talk to the government. Yeah. Right? Then you tried to hire him back. Yeah. So we're going to focus because at t T-Mobile, Verizon, you're cooked. Yeah. Not by us, by what you did, what the campaign registry did, and what I hear a lot of CEOs and people at the show going, wow, they lost their cover. Yeah, exactly. They lost it. They lost their cover in the middle of the night. It exactly. doesn't do anything. Yeah, and I've got a list of people uh, that we're going to start hitting. But I'm going to start releasing some stuff, information, um, and emails that I sent starting day one, guys. So yeah, be on your toes. Or guys, just come clean. Got yeah. meth members. All you guys are all that meth members. Net number ages. What do you know? I don't want to pick on you guys. Net number. I don't want to pick on. I don't want to pick on you guys. What do you know? What happened over here? Was yeah. it the sign? And I know the new CEO of Net Number came in after the fact. The last guy was a guy that was working with the the campaign registry to set this thing up. So I don't, it was not his watch. Yeah. And I, I hear they're trying to take it over. I'm not sure what's going on. How are you going to sell it? How yeah. are you going to? First of all, how do you sell something that doesn't work? Uku. 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 You they know, call me Uku. <laughs> he lives on the second floor. <laughs> oh, but no, we did have an excellent podcast with Uku from Macente Communications. Oh. He's the leader most members of the SMS industry point to as the most trustworthy leader. I mean, he's the real deal. And you saw it on the podcast. He was amazing. I mean, I think... Tells the truth. And he's exactly. being attacked. All yes. Right. And we're going to ensure we get the links there so people understand. And he's, he's also his naming names and pointing at people. And yep. like I said on the podcast, I ain't going there. I don't need that. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? But he, I think, for me, one of the really nice stories he had was around when he and Ira Cohen from MMD Smart both said at an event they would just prefer that you know SMS pricing be public, it's just published, so that they can focus on their value add. 
and yeah. help make. I'd the like to be honest. seven foot tall and play in the NVA. <laughs> if, Why would they do that? Yeah, but it, the key is they're out there saying it because you know their view. It's very uncommon in the SMS industry, but to do it would make the industry so much more honest. I, I've seen that. I've seen pricing where I'm going, wait a minute, that's slightly lower than what the carrier is charging. And why? Well, there's several ways you can do it. I mean, we had uh, Dan Gill cover AIT. You've got, you just don't deliver half of it because, you know, hey, those numbers never respond. To uh, I, I heard a disturbing comment this morning from a large company. Guy on the inside basically says, look, Johnny, we, we put opportunities options and even in front of some of the enterprise and say, look, we're going to have to put all these checks and balances in place. It's going to cost this. The price is going to have price increases. And they're like, yeah, you know what? Let's keep it going. Keep the prices low. So at the end of the day, yeah. you know, I, I don't know. We have to get more into that. Uka is yes. going to come back on. Bird yeah. now flew back into town. I'm not yep. sure how long he's going to be around. Bird, you know, way to go. Come back. But look, yep. Meth, Meth, our bone to pick with you is who framed Bill Peters? That's it. You all know. Yeah. You guys know over there. Yeah. Definitely persistence. persistence. And the this truth is, is an example of persistence hunting. You just keep chasing the target. It's as simple yeah. as that. And the core I, is who framed Bill Peters. Simple yeah. as that. Who framed who framed Bill? Yep. You know what I mean? Now we know so the that, campaign registry was set up as a scam. Yep. That's gonna be a whole look, guys. Apple today, DOJ, yeah. not good. Yeah. Because they're the good when they get their hands on you. Yeah, exactly. Okay? They're going to shake them upside down like, poof, yeah. forget it. But it opens up a whole new can of words. It brings antitrust back to our country, which is something that hasn't been around many years ago. Exactly. I know, I know a little bit about it because I won the last <laughs> failure to deal lawsuit. Yep. And, then I say, and it's just not right. Yes. And look, we're going to have a consolidation in the industry. And if the industry doesn't get together to fight against these MNOs, that one short that I put out about UCA. Yeah. The m &Os. We don't feel like we're part of the problem. Exactly. I and mean, that's just... Oh. But again, back to the but UCA podcast. They deliver it. He expressed his frustration about SMS scammers, just like Bird did. I mean, you can see the emotion <clears throat> that causes. Yeah. And we need to get, be far more open about, you know, this virus, this infection that's it, you've been running riot for 20 years and it's like, oh, we don't talk about that as an industry. I got That's one. Yeah, I got one. Uh, I got another guy I'm getting so much information. It's crazy. I, I, they think I'm like, I don't know, like I'm a psychiatrist. I got guys said to me, actually, one guy from a company got a message from another guy from his company telling the other guy where to go. Right. So now they're using AI uh, on these type of cases. They traced it back. It came from T-Mobile's. Oh. It's coming from the carriers. Yeah. So I was trying to catch this Noah guy who's been running around. Hard to get him. I think they're putting pressure on him too for whatever. I'm not really sure. But I, you know, I asked him, I said, well, if your identity solution, what do you do about SIM farms? He goes, oh, well, the only way, the only spam that's going to get through is through the carriers. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's true. And wait a minute. Hey, Zar, you don't even know about the T-Mobile Sev Zero funds. That, that, that got past him. Can you send it over to him or something? Oh, when he yeah, finds yeah, out, because yeah. that's not even TCPA. I don't think he's aware of what yep. the carriers did that basically trumped the TCPA. And when he gets his hands on that, because that's that true. went quiet. What happened? Yes. Uh, but it's it's active now, it, uh, and people are suffering. So, yeah, I'll forward the um, – because we did a whole podcast on the Sev Zero. Because yeah. they tried to bury it in the Christmas break uh, with the released uh, Sev Zero. I think charges. we're going to start our own – I think we're going to start our own board. <laughs> our own committee with Pooja, and we're going to have women, men, and it's going to be about let's stop the insanity. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to bring it back to Uku again, okay? Because Shaw is a man. Have, he's Shaw's coming back next week. <laughs> oh, yes. No, he will. He's reviewing. Um, I hope. I haven't got a confirmation yet. Um, some of the methods, some of the technologies that could be used to stop the scamming. Well, we now, sent them Noah's. We sent them Secure. Uh, telecom Exchange. Give us an idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Telecom now, Exchange. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we have exactly. a... We want to find solutions here because the carriers are not. But once nope. they start getting fined and sued, watch how fast. Exactly. But shortly after we did that po podcast, a scam appeared abusing the Macente brands, making claims around all the you know, sort of uh, bulk services available uh, through them. 
Now, if anyone sees it, please contact Vicente. I'm going to include in the uh, uh, the uh, post the link to Uku's post on that. But this shows how the scammers do not want these problems being discussed. They just want to continue like ha it has for the past 20 years. Just don't talk about it. Let it fester. And, and you know, again, all credit to uh, Robert Viz. When yeah, I can just imagine the meth meetings. I've never been to one. I mean, you got Uko over here and Ira. And Ira, I apologize to you. I made a comment uh, basically saying, you know, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. He thought yeah. I was him. So Ira, I've never met you. I apologize uh, for for misstating that. But uh, you know, I'm going to bring it back to SMS and the scammers and they are resulting in businesses walking away from SMS as a channel. Traffic is down. And what's amazing is because carriers are very short-termism, it's next quarter's numbers, what they've done is, oh, damn, we're not seeing the volume. Well, what do we do? We raise prices. So now we're seeing per SMS prices jump up. And we're in this vicious cycle of short-termism. Yeah. is driving SMS to be less and less attractive. We've just got to stop all the cover-ups, get the truth out there and solve the core problems, you know, which is the scamming that's happening across SMS. In fact, I, Ira Cohen had a great metaphor that oh, yeah. you know, messaging fraud is an infection that has festered over the last 20 years. And it may lead, despite the ubiquity and value of SMS, to business messaging's demise. We're seeing it now. 10, 15 percent volumes are down because businesses are pulling away. Here in the US, we're also seeing volumes decreasing because of the mess of the TCR and the mess of uh, one night. But we're seeing Excuse spam me. increase. Yes, and 800 SMS has been such a mess over the past uh, few months. You know, can the industry get the medicine before it's too late to save the patient. I mean, pretending there's no infection is not the right approach. And that's what the industry has been doing for way too long. So it all comes back to stop the cover-ups, open frank discussion, and let's just solve it. Second consumers aren't getting spammed all the bloody time. And also businesses can trust SMS again. Uh, like I said, I was hoping and praying that Zar would continue down his fight here. Because, you know, he's right about the content and reading messages and who can send what and who can't send what. Yep. That's a place we haven't gone. I don't want to go. Yeah. Uh, Rick, obviously, is a foreign ownership yep. and the stopping of spam. Exactly. And look, we have Uku, we have Bird. We've got some prominent people uh, and our own community that are going to talk the walk the walk. And, you know, why, is, why are our rules being made in Europe? And you saw that comment from Chris Krebs. Yes. Why is Europe deciding how we do things over here? And what are these forums? Thank you. <laughs> Uja, in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are you know, uh, Johnny's queen. It's as simple as that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big fan. I thought her speech was powerful. I wish more people would see it. Yeah. I wish I wish it would get out there in the right channels. Uh, it was it was sincere. It was powerful. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah. I did not like the nice. I did not like the negativity that I heard. Oh, fuck. you. If you will. Exactly. Yeah, just on, you know, ignore the, ignore the style. If it doesn't, they, they you know, walked just... away on their own. Yes. They think they think everything was settled. Hey, they did this, they did that. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Money, you better call them. Somebody better call them. Yep. Dario. Yep. So just wrapping guy. up, we had a powerful <laughs> podcast with Uku, and he's suffering. His brand is being targeted after, uh, you know, being on that. He, he's going to be, he's going to come out better than ever. Oh, yes, come out better absolutely. Than ever. You know, at and... the end of the day, he's on, he's stable. He's part of a stable conglomerate of oh, companies. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. why also he can, he can walk and walk. He can run around and whistle. Eh, what are you going to do? Exactly. Oh yeah. Right? He has a very defensible business. And then yeah. with uh, the MEF kicking Pooja off the panel, it demonstrated to the world, you do not mess with uh, women because they will Look, stand up and be I had another guy saying, who cares what the meth has to say? Like, people go there, they don't really do anything, they don't achieve anything. What do they do? There's another, other comments. It, it doesn't no. matter. You Their, their messaging is, we represent the message SMS industry. So you had the SMS message. That's, our, and that's our game. And guys, you know? we represent the people, the kids, the grandmas, the yep. robo moms, exactly. people getting hurt. And exactly. the industry's got to come together and band together against the MNOs, especially in the US. Europe, yes. Europe's a little bit more complex. Yeah. Different oh, yeah, regulations yeah. in every exactly. country. And yeah. it's going to be the Wild West. But um, 
Yeah, I, a, a, a Apple antitrust. Uh, oh, let's, yeah, but that's good because it, it has been, you know, antitrust has been almost like a sort of a negative term. Now we're seeing it rise to protect consumers. I think we, we need to, we need to drive Flood, this. Floodgates are open. But, 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 but I think we should finish on who framed Bill Peters. And you're going to be releasing more stuff on that. Listen, I mean, look, I got you some stuff right up. I could, the first email that I sent, Calera Board, Dario, um, all of them, yeah. release it. Yeah. Just the first email. I'm going to start with one, and then I'm going to continue. I'm going to go all the way to you, Avi Katz, and how you brought Bill Peters in. Then I'm going to go to you, Matt Matuli, who's the attorney for Erickson right now, who worked for Vion before and cleaned up all their messes. Dario Betty and Mian, CEO of Centerverse Vion. We're going, to, we're going to start talking about what happened over here. We're going to talk about the embargo traffic. We're going to talk about all that stuff. We're going to talk about the billions of dollars. Yes. Somebody needs to, who will frame Bill? Because you're still yeah. trying to destroy him. Yes. You guys are still terrible. trying to bell him littler. You guys are yep. still trying to bury him. And Richard Ricardo Cabrera, we didn't get to him yet. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. do the right thing. You don't yep. do the right thing. Exactly. Keep coming. Yep. That's but now it. we're going to come hard. It's Well, it's persistent something. I lost the zone. I lost my queenie. I was begging him, please, guys. We'll, we'll see. see. Anyway, have a great weekend, Johnny. Thanks. And one more thing. Scroll. Yeah. What an amazing company. Of just yes. you want you want a guys in AI, you want to study AI and how it works and how it works with people. It's amazing uh how Stroll is integrating AI with all these car companies. And yes. I went through a whole thing on that. And I'm like, Wow, people, we need to do another thing with Strollin and what Absolutely. they do and how they incorporate people and increase more companies getting jobs with AI. Exactly. Really phenomenal. I think a lot of people got AI a little wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, not, not, fact, getting, next... you're not getting people out of the equation. But yes. what they do and are increasing mm -hmm. uh, employees. Oh, yeah. Pretty amazing. Absolutely. It makes them far more effective and drives more yeah. sales. And Again, let's say, so, we have innovators. We have the CEOs. They all come over here. Any of you guys out there want to come on a show? Please come on. Absolutely. I'm not going to attack you unless you know who Fred Bill Peters. <laughs> and if you're involved over there somewhere, we're coming. <laughs> anyway, have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, buddy.